If you're looking for a roundup of stories from the Papua Nui area in the last week, great news, you're in the right place. Keep watching. Kia ora, this is Simon Breton from Think Papua Nui. If you'd like any more details on any of the stories I'm about to mention, see the link in the video description. Last Friday night, there was a serious house fire in Papua Nui, near the corner of Main North Road and Cranford Street. Thank you to the community member who shared a video of the event with Think Papua Nui. I subsequently also posted a link to the Give a Little page set up to support the people affected. Over the last weekend, Think Papua Nui launched a Papua Nui in Pictures photo promotion. Members of the public can share photos from the Papua Nui area, and one lucky contributor will be chosen at random to receive a Mitre 10 gift voucher. Note that this is open to all ages, and no Facebook or other social media account is needed to participate. Thank you to Mitre 10 Mega Papua Nui for donating the gift voucher and covering some promotional costs. If you're watching this video from the future, just take note of the closing date, 21 July 2019. Morrison Avenue has been restricted to one lane due to roadworks this week, take care if you're in that area. The Waipapa Papua Nui Innes Community Board's June newsletter is now available. The Norwest News this week included an update on submissions on the Council's proposals for the Harewood Gardeners Breens intersection. I shared about Papua Nui High School's Beauty and the Beast Junior drama production. By the time this video is published, the curtain will have fallen on the final performance. The Council is consulting on a draft integrated water strategy. There's a lot of detail involved in this one, so I've picked up a printed copy of the consultation document from one of our local libraries, and I'll plan to attend one of the drop-in sessions as well. There are a couple of candidate information sessions coming up for people interested in standing as a council or community board candidate in the upcoming local body elections. The first is this coming Tuesday, the 25th of June. I'm a customer of the Veggie Co-op that operates out of Northgate Trust, North City Church on Sawyer's Arms Road. Contact that trust if you're interested in a weekly or fortnightly $15 bag of fruit and vegetables. I've published a recap of last week's council meeting that considered the plan to manage traffic downstream of the Christchurch Northern Corridor. It's a longer form piece that I've published separately to Think Papua Nui. Again, you'll find it via a link in the description. Coming up this week. This week, there's a first council candidate information session, as I mentioned previously. There'll be a meeting on Tuesday of the full council to finalise what's been described as a no surprises council budget or annual plan for 2019-2020. The agenda for that meeting is available online. And next Friday, the 28th of June, is the date for the next meeting of the Waipapa Papua Nui Innes Community Board, and I'll post some information about what's on the agenda for that meeting just as soon as it's published. Special thanks this week to Cyclone Computers, uh, they've supported Think Papua Nui's work to keep this community connected by donating a Lenovo laptop tablet. Thank you again. Kia ora. Appreciate that. Thanks again for connecting with Think Papua Nui. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe to the Think Papua Nui channel as I'm looking to add more video content. So your subscription is appreciated, as is your feedback, either in the comments below or you can contact me many other ways. Kia ora.